Our detectives from Burley Heads CIB are investigating uh, the discovery of a number of uh, devices at uh, Bon Bibra's dealership at Rubina in April and uh, the discovery of a device in the vehicle you say, Burley Heads. Um, as part of our inquiries, um, we're seeking the assistance of the public um, in identifying a vehicle that's been captured on CCTV footage. Um, this vehicle uh, was seen in the area of Bon Bibra's um, on Sunday the uh, 21st of um, April this year. Um, we're, we're unable to say if this vehicle is connected with the matters or the fences at all, but we are keen to speak to the owner or the driver of that vehicle, um, and, and in the very least to eliminate it from our inquiry. Um, we've got some footage and stills available for you after, afterwards to, um, to view. Um, if any person has any information as to the, the vehicle or the driver, um, we'd ask that they contact police or crime stoppers. So the vehicle yesterday at Burley was purchased or moved from Bond to Burley? We, we believe the, the vehicle involved in yesterday's incident is connected to the Bond Vibra um, incidents. Um, it was a vehicle that was purchased from that dealership. Is it fair to say that there is a fair degree of the chances a link between the two incidents and from the incident yesterday? Yes, we believe there is a link between the three, uh, three incidents. What, any idea why the Bond Bibbers are being targeted? Um, at this stage, um, we can't say for certain, but we're certainly looking at the aspect of, a, uh, of an angry customer or a dissatisfied customer would probably be more accurate. Uh, having to obviously crawl through a pretty big database of customers, do you, do you know roughly how many you'd have to be having looking at? Or not, not able to disclose that at this point in time, Greg. Have the Von Bibbers been compliant with <coughs> property? Uh, the staff and management at Von Bibbers have been um, very cooperative with police and have um, been of great assistance to our inquiries. What have they been doing since the first incident as far as security and whatnot of their business? Have they been doing daily checks? Do you know? I'm not going to comment on that particular aspect, but um, I'll just reiterate that they've been uh, very cooperative with the police.